Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned about string functions. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn about the conversion functions. First of all, we'll see what is conversion functions. Conversion functions are used to convert a value from one data type to another data type. All right, where we are going to use this conversion function? Let me start with a simple example by adding two numbers. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a small flow by using mathematical function and I will explain you everything over there. All right. Now I have created a flow with the name of expressions flow over there. I have selected manually trigger flow, which is the instant flow. I have created that over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add two numbers first. So for that, I'm going to give the test types over here by clicking on add an input over here. If you see, I'm having test as well as number, right? For and suppose I have to add two string values before that. What I have to do, I have to convert them into integer type, right? So for that, I'm going to give a text over here and I'm going to give the value as input text. That is one we will enter the value over here in the same way. I'm going to give another input. I'm going to give the name as input text to all right. These are the two inputs which we have. But if you observe over here, these two inputs are the text, which the values have been given in the string format, right? Over there, what we have to do, if I want to add two numbers, then the values has to convert into the integer and then we have to do some mathematical functions on the top of that one, right? So we are going to do the same thing over here to convert our values from one data type to another. What are the values that have been given over here in the text values that is there in the string format? We are going to convert them into integer format. All right. How can we go ahead and convert them into integer type for the number values? I'm not going to use numbers directly over here. I have given the input text values over here and from there I'm going to convert them into integer, right? So let me click on new step and I'm going to select compose data operation. Let me select that and now over here the inputs I'm going to select. So we are working with the expressions right of the conversion function so that where these conversion functions will be available inside the expression there you can see over here. Under the expressions, you will find conversion functions where you can have integer value, string value, XML, JSON, float, and even you can have arrays and create arrays. I will explain you one by one over here. First, I will show you an error over here by using mathematical function so that I'm going to add two numbers over here. All right, I'm going to select the expression as add two values or two numbers and I'm going to give directly the numbers by using dynamic content. One is input text one, another one input text two. So if you observe these two things are in string format, right? So whenever you are going to add these two numbers, you will get an array. Let me save that first. Let me save the flow. Now let's test the flow to see the output. What kind of output will get it. But we know these are the inputs we are going to give in the string format. Whenever you are going to add two strings in a such a way that the output has to come whenever the two values has been given. All right, let's see that by clicking on test. I'm going to select manually and then I'm going to click on text. Now I'm going to give the input text as the value. I'm going to give it as 10. Another value I'm going to give it as 25. But whenever we are going to use mathematical functions of two numbers, adding of two numbers, then what will happen if you observe over here, the sum of two numbers or the add of two numbers is 35. We need to get that kind of output. But as we have seen in the manual trigger flow, we have given the text values over here as string. It should be in the string format so that we'll get an error over here. Let's click on run flow to see the output. Now, if you see, the flow has been failed because of you can see over here unable to process the template long with expression in action of compose the inputs whatever you have given you can see over here it the type is string and you are it is expecting 
the values or for the mathematical functions it is expecting as integer format. So what we have to do for that? We need to convert our string values which are coming from the upstream. Then we need to convert them into integer format and then we, we can do the mathematical function on that. Simple one, right? Now, how can I convert them? How can I convert the string into integer? All right. There we are going to use conversion functions over there. Let me start that by clicking on edit. What I'm going to do first, I need to convert the values from string to integer. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to select the expression over here. Now over here, you can see the conversion functions. So I want to convert that function into integer. So you can see over here, convert the parameter to an integer. So if the input has been given it as a string, then we need to convert that into an integer. All right. Let me select the integer value. That is the conversion function that I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to select the input over here, dynamic content. I'm going to give it a input text one. All right. In the same way, I'm going to convert another input over here that is selecting the same expression from the conversion expression. That is, I'm going to use int value and then the dynamic content. What is the input that we have? Input text two. Now let me click on OK. Now we have converted our values, that string values to an integer whenever you're going to give the values. Now we, are, we can go ahead and we can add, we can go ahead and we can do our mathematical functions by using these inputs over here. Let me click on new step over here. Now I'm going to select the expression that is math function. And you can see I'm going to add two numbers. Now what are the numbers that you need to select over here whenever you're going to add it? Now if you go for the dynamic content, we got the outputs over here. From the compose one, we got the values which have been converted into integer that we got the values over here. You can see compose and compose two. Now I'm going to add two numbers over here. That is add output of the compose. That is the first one, another one output that is from the compose two. All right, now let me click on OK. Now we will test again that what are the conversions we have made it from sync to integer has been successfully done or not by clicking on test. Click on test. Now I'm going to select the test. Now I'm going to give the same values over here. The input text I have given it as 10 and the another one I'm going to give it as 25. Now let's run on the flow. Let's click on done. Now, if you see the flow has been executed successfully. Now, if you see the raw data over here in the compose, the input has been given it as 10 and the output came as 10. Now, if you observe previously, the input was there in the string format and the output came in integer format. In the same way, the input two also, we are having the input is 25 and the output came in 25. Now, I'm going to add these two numbers, right? By using compose three for the, by using math function with the add of two numbers. Now, if you see, now the output has been given it as 35, the sum of two values, that is 10 comma 25. That is the output is 35 over here. All right. This is the reason why we need to convert the values which are there in the string needs to convert into integer. The upstreams will be there with the values of string where we'll get it. And then to add the two numbers or in a such a way, if you want to Calculate the salary on the different components in such a cases you are going to convert the string values into an integer and then you can do the mathematical functions on whatnot. All right. I hope you understand how to convert a string into an integer by using conversion function. All right. Now I will explain you one more thing over here for the conversion function, which we are going to convert integer to string format for an example. If I want to concat the version numbers, let us assume if I'm having any software, uh, what I need to do, I, I'm going to give in a such a way version 1.0, all right? Or version one, version two, version three, and so on. In that case, what you have to do, whenever you are going to concat string and integer, in that case, you need to convert integer to string format, and then you are going to concat these two values, right? Now over here, I'm going to give the same thing over here. I'm going to give input text as input text over here in a such a way I will give the 
V or version or any kind of thing. I will give one more input over here as version number so that I'm going to select the number over here and I'm going to give the name over here as version number so that what will happen you are going to give the value as numeric values one two three and so on. Now I want to concat these two things right in our previous sessions for the string functions we have used concat function in that case one of the value I need to convert that into the string and then I need to append that to the particular particular string in that case how can we convert this version number into the string let me click on new step and then I'm going to use compose data operator and then over here we need to convert this integer to string format right so that I'm going to use the expression over here as conversion function with this string. you can see over here I'm having string value which will convert the parameter to a string all right now over here I'm going to give the input as number that is the int value right let me select that and then I'm going to use the dynamic content over here the input is that version number this is the one which I need to convert into string format right let me click on OK now I'm going to use the new step over here as a compose to where I am going to concat these two things one is the version and the version number now I'm going to select the expression over here that is concat text one comma text two but if you observe if I'm going to directly give input text comma version number then it will case it will throw an error right so that what is the first one I need to do first thing to concat two things I need the text formats right both are in the text format so that I'm going to use the dynamic content as an input and the first one is the input text one comma I'm going to use the output which I'm coming mean, converted from integer to string format now I'm going to select the outputs of compose and then I'm going to click on OK now let me test the flow to see the output by clicking on test I'm going to select manually and then I'm going to give that and I'm going to provide the inputs over here let me click on test now I'm going to give the input over here as version okay and the number over here let us assume I'm going to give it as 2 all right that is you know version 2 I need to get it as a software okay let's run the flow by clicking on run flow now if you see the flow has been executed successfully now if you go for the manual trigger flow I have given two inputs over here one is the input text you can see in the string format another one you can see the number in the number format all right now you can see the inputs version and the version number when I'm going to compose this so the version number will be converted into string format by using string conversion function now if you see the output by using Compose to we got the output as version 2 all right this is the way how we are going to convert the integer into and string format by using string conversion function in the next tutorial we will learn about boolean conversion function and also we will learn about how to convert a value into an xml and also how to convert a value into an json format by using conversion function Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.